Hello, welcome to Weed and Barley. This is a place where you get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform, praise God. I am so excited, y'all. This is day six. Let's go ahead and move right along in the things of God. God is so good, absolutely wonderful. In the mighty name of Jesus, I'm just so grateful. Praise God, hallelujah. The Lord is so good. He is stirring things up. He is moving things along. He is pushing forward, hallelujah. Our trajectory, hallelujah. And it is in acceleration, y'all, praise God. This is day six on the journey, y'all. One more day, hallelujah. And you're gonna find your rest in the Lord. Lord, praise God. You're going to receive that rest in the Lord. I'm telling you right now, praise God. Many of you are already in that peaceful state, hallelujah, where you know that God has you, where you know, praise God, all of that fog, all of that confusion, praise God, it has ceased, hallelujah. You are hearing God clearly because in your fasting, you have been consecrating. You have set apart, you have been set apart by the Lord. You are, you are in Hallelujah. Communication with the Lord. Praise God. And now we are at the conclusion of our fast. Hallelujah. We are at the conclusion of our fast. The Lord said conclusion. Praise God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit had brought up conclusion. Praise God. So we are at the conclusion of our fast. And I'm just so grateful to the Lord that he is concerned about us. Praise God. And that we are steadfast on this fast. It is seven days, y'all. Hallelujah. This is the sixth day from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. You could do it wet or dry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. However you decide in the mighty name of Jesus, but the focus is to consecrate. The focus is to die down this flesh, praise God, and not put, pick back up those things that are dead, but to move in the spirit of God. Hallelujah. The only way you're going to remain in clarity, the only way you're going to remain in God's goodness, the only way, praise God, hallelujah, is to keep those things that are dead, dead. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, the Lord wants you to increase. The Lord wants you to rise to the occasion. The Lord knows that you can do it. Praise God. I know you can do it. Hallelujah. Just leave those things dead. Those things that you put off, those things that you put down during this fast. Praise God. If they were no good to you, leave them there. Hallelujah. Yes. You know, you got to pick up food because you have to eat. Praise God. Hallelujah. But maybe there are some things that you were eating. Hallelujah. That you don't need to pick up again. Just think about it. Praise God. Pray about it. Hallelujah. Just leave those things dead because the Lord is calling us to a greater place and we need to have our bodies right, y'all. Praise God. But more importantly, we need to be walking in the spirit of God. We need to have that clarity. Hallelujah. In the presence of the Lord, moving in the things that he's telling us to move in so that we are in his uh, perfect will. Praise God. The perfect divine will of the Lord. Now, let me share this. Today, we uh, talked about the seven spirits of God. Seven, remember, that means completion. Hallelujah. So our God is complete, praise God. Everything mirrored after our Father in the mighty name of Jesus. But let's look at this. It reads in chapter 4, verse 5 of Revelation, out from the throne come flashes of lightning and sounds and peals of thunder. We need to know who we serve, y'all. Hallelujah. This is coming from the throne. And there were seven lamps of the burning before the throne, praise God. Seven lamps. And what are these seven lamps? Which are the seven spirits of God. And we talked about the seven spirits of God, praise God. Hallelujah. Earlier today. And we need to know, praise God, even when we talk about knowledge, understanding, wisdom, praise God. Hallelujah. The spirit of the Lord. These are spirits. Hallelujah. And anything that we lack in our journey, let's say we need more understanding for something, more knowledge of something, praise God. We need to make sure that we have the fear of the Lord as well, praise God. That's really important on the journey. But just understand, praise God, even wisdom, the fear of the Lord is the start of wisdom, praise God. So they all work together, y'all. Hallelujah. You can't have one without needing the other, praise God. And we need to make sure that we are in completion in God's spirit because we're going to rest, hallelujah, in God. We're going to rest in the spirit of God. So how are we going to do that if we are not aware of the spirit of God? The complete spirit of God, praise God, hallelujah. Understand that these seven spirits are also the sevenfold ministry of the Holy Spirit. The sevenfold ministry of the Holy Spirit, praise God. So there's a ministry of the Lord, which is a fivefold ministry. And then there's a sevenfold um, ministry, praise God, of the Holy Spirit. All right. And so we're just going to continue to move in the Lord and have him to bring that clarity onto us, to pour out onto us, to download information to us so that we have a greater understanding, greater knowledge, greater revelation, elevation in his spirit so that we can continue to increase so that we can pour out and also receive from the Lord and our capacity ends up stretching in this position, praise God, where we are receiving from the Lord. And then when we can contain more, we can pour out more, praise God. And when we do the right things with 
what God gives us, meaning that we are good stewards with what God gives us, guess what happens, praise God? He gives us more responsibility because he says, ha, that one right there, I can trust in the mighty name of Jesus. That one right there, hallelujah, is steadfast. That one right there will do what I am calling him or her to do in this time, praise God. And I pray that you are moving in the things of God, standing on the word of God, knowing who God has called you to be and that you're standing in that position. Hallelujah. No one can be you and you can't be anyone else. Praise God, because God has called you to a particular place, to a particular position, to a militant style position. Praise God. You got to be a warrior in that area. Hallelujah. And that's a, another thing. Praise God. A lot of times the Lord will bring people into your uh, uh, position, into your area. Hallelujah. And to, and to the place in which the Lord has given you to uh, be a watchman, to be a warrior, praise God. And these people are going to help you along. They're your destiny helpers, praise God. Some will stay and some will go. Hallelujah. Some won't help you at all. So you will know that they're not your destiny helpers. They're just past, past buyers, if you want to say that, praise God. They will come in, praise God. Sometimes they'll monitor a little bit, praise God, and then they'll move along. And that's fine in the mighty name of Jesus. But just understand, when you have those destiny helpers to come in, be mindful of that because you don't want to turn away the hand in which God has given you. You don't want to be cruel to the hand in which God has lent you. You don't want to be, um, you know, in this place, praise God, hallelujah, um, in this selfish, um, um, also, you know, almost spoiled place where, you know, it's rightfully so that you are to receive these things. You know, it's the goodness of the Lord that we receive. It's the hand of the Lord. It's the love of God that we receive. And yes, he will say that, hey, this is what is going to happen, praise God. And a lot of times, you know, if you read the Bible, God will give um, directions and instructions, but also the very outlook of his mind, like where his mind is on a, on a situation, praise God. But if people don't get in order, if people don't follow suit, sometimes those plans change. His, his, his will will be done whether he used you or not. That's what I learned, praise God. Hallelujah. Whether he used you or not, his will will be done. Somebody else will get up and go. Somebody else will do exactly what he called them to do where you won't, praise God, hallelujah. And I'm just saying right now that this is just clarity for us being completely obedient to the will of God and not standing in our own way, leaning on our own understanding because of the situations and experiences we've been in. We don't want that to cloud our journey with God because God is bigger than our situation. God is bigger than our experiences, praise God, hallelujah. He has the greater outlook on everything. So we have to trust and believe that God has our back, that he has our, the plans for us, praise God, and we're going to follow them exactly how he has given them unto us. And be mindful, praise God, that there will be people, and this is prophetic, y'all, there will be people who will come into your life and they will speak into your life what thus saith the Lord. Go back to the Holy Spirit, to the Lord, and, and just see if that word is truly for you because you want to make sure. Because when a person brings you a word, it should be confirmation. It should be confirmation from the Lord. The Lord has all, is going to settle with you. Your, your spirit, praise God, which is the Holy Spirit, is going to resonate with the Holy Spirit, praise God. And I'm telling you, it's going to settle right there in you. You're going to know that that's confirmation for you, praise God. Hallelujah. But if you ever receive something that is not quite for you or you don't think it is, go with the Holy Spirit, sit down, communicate, praise God, pray about it and wait for the answers before you just run into it, before you just take suit, praise God. Because the Lord do not want us to, he doesn't want us to stumble in this time, praise God, hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, he's telling us to be vigilant in this season. So we gotta be paying close attention because the enemy is setting up strategic attacks. Let me say that again. The enemy is setting up strategic attacks, praise God, but he's making us aware of his seven spirits. Praise God. Hallelujah. These are the seven spirits of God. We, we are being made aware, praise God. Hallelujah. That we have access to wisdom. We have access to knowledge. We have access to the spirit of the Lord. We have access to the fear of God. We have access, y'all. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have access, y'all. Hallelujah. So we need to be moving in that access. We need to be moving in the counsel of the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm telling you right now, pray, pray, pray. If you don't do anything else, you need to be praying and worshiping, giving all honor, glory, and, and, and praises to the Father. You need to be giving it to Jesus Christ, hallelujah, who is our Lord and Savior, hallelujah. And I'm just so grateful today to have joined you with this message, praise God. That is day six. We are a, a day, hallelujah, 
before the ending of our journey, we're getting ready to settle in God's rest. Now, settling his rest is going to look a little different from all of us, praise God. I've already received my instructions for the rest of this year, praise God, hallelujah. And whatever it is that God tells you to do for the rest of this year, praise God, just know it is for to the long haul of this year. It is what he's calling you to do, to be obedient to the call, praise God, hallelujah, whatever that looks like, whatever it is. But he's calling us to a greater stance. And I pray that you're obedient. I pray that you're ready. I pray that you're willing, praise God. I pray, hallelujah that you continue to seek the Lord who is in charge over all of us, his children, praise God. Hallelujah, because you know those wild ones, those ones, praise God, who turn their back on God, hallelujah, they don't necessarily believe. Those are still God's children. He is the creator, but they don't necessarily believe, praise God, hallelujah, and to be a family member to Jesus Christ, to be a family member, hallelujah, reconcile back to the Father, they have to go through the door of Jesus Christ. They have to believe, praise God. And when God draw them, praise God, when they are called, they have to come. They have to be obedient and follow, praise God. Not be stiff neck, praise God, a hardened heart at all. They need to come on into the fold so we can go ahead and pray for them in the mighty name of Jesus. All right, y'all, we're going to have communion and then we will pray. We're going to 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 11, starting at verse 23. And it reads, for I received from the Lord that which I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus in the night in which he was betrayed took bread. And when he had given thanks, thank you, Lord, he broke it and said, this is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, he took the cup also after supper, saying, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it and remember it to me. Thank you, Lord. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Therefore, whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But a man must examine himself, and in doing so, he is to eat of the bread and drink of the cup. For he who eats and drinks, eats and drinks judgment to himself, if he does not judge the body rightly. For this reason, many among you are weak and sick, and a number sleep. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for communion today. We thank you for the fellowship in the spirit, Lord God, as we're coming in to pray together. We thank you for this fast, O oh Lord God, for outlining our steps and our instructions, Father God, so that we will have clarity in what we're supposed to do during this fast. We thank you, Lord God, for leading us and leading our steps, oh, Father God, giving us the trajectory of our lives, oh, Lord God, letting us know, Lord God, who is for us and who is not. Thank you for allowing us to be vigilant in this time, Lord God. May we see things through your vision, oh, Father God. May we understand spiritually what is happening all around us, oh, Lord God, as we elevate and increase in your spirit, oh, Lord God. May we get to know the spiritual realm as you want us to know it, oh, Father God, that we're not seeking it on our own, that we're not going through other avenues to figure out what's going on in the spiritual realm, oh, Lord God, that we're not playing guessing games, we're not psychics, oh, Lord God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We're not fortune tellers, oh, Lord God. We're not seeking divination, Father God, to figure out what you're doing in the mighty name of Jesus, but we're seeking you, Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, the true spirit, hallelujah, the one who is here to help us. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being the witness of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much for bringing us back home. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for showing us, praise God, the direction in which we are to go. Thank you so much for not forsaking us, for not forgetting, forgetting about us, praise God. Thank you so much, hallelujah, for always hovering and always being there, ever present. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, Jesus Christ, for the death, hallelujah, that you experienced. Thank you for rising again. Thank you for ascending. Thank you, hallelujah, for pulling the keys out of hell. Thank you, hallelujah, for saving our souls. Thank you, Jesus. We cannot repay you, hallelujah, but we can give you our praise. We can give you our worship. We can give you our time. We can give you, hallelujah. Hallelujah, our works. We can give you everything of us, O oh Lord. Hallelujah, because it's worthy. Hallelujah, it's worthy. Hallelujah, in you, it's worthy. Hallelujah, for you, it's worthy. Hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. And we're grateful. We're so grateful, O oh Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.
Thank you for every single person who receives you today, oh, Father God, for the first time. Hallelujah. May they crowd unto you, Lord Jesus. May they make you uh, your, their Lord and Savior. Praise God. Hallelujah. Come on into the fold and get in their rightful position in the mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you, Lord God, for every single heart that is ready to receive your message today, Lord God, ready to continue to move in fasting, continue to die down the flesh, continue to consecrate, oh, Lord God, continue to be sanctified through you, Holy Spirit. Continue to be used by you, oh, Lord. Hallelujah. We're just so thankful for the saints. Those who are standing on the wall interceding, those who are standing on the wall being watching, those who are standing on the wall being vigilant, those who are standing on the wall building, those who are standing on the wall helping, those who are standing on the wall, praise God, hallelujah, living on the wall, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. We're just so grateful, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. May we continue to glorify your name. Amen. All right, y'all, be blessed in all your ways, knowing that God is God and he is God alone. He is the only one and true living God that we serve. Jesus Christ is our Lord and Savior, period. Hallelujah. That's who we serve in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Tomorrow is day seven. Tomorrow is day seven. Remember, we've already gone into Revelation, y'all. Revelation chapter four, and we're going to continue. Uh, we're going to end in Revelation as well. Praise God. And I just want you to remember that seven, the number seven represents completion, y'all. Hallelujah. And we've just gotten into the seven spirits of God because we need to know where we're resting in. What we're, what are we resting in? And these spirits are, we have access to. We have access to the spirits of God. We just need to pray for these things in which we need. Hallelujah. If you see any area of your life where it's dry, you need to pray, praise God. And that means that, yes, you're going to have to do some work. Hallelujah. When the Lord gives me an idea, praise God, he'll download it to me. He'll tell me what it is. I'll know exactly how it functions, praise God. I'll even see the blueprint of how it should be formed because the Holy Spirit is helping me along. But guess who has to do the work? I do, praise God. I got to do the work. If it's an order to be made, I got to make the order. If it's going out somewhere, I got to go out, praise God. I got to I gotta do it. Hallelujah. And I'm just praying today that you are not passing along what God gave you to do to somebody else to do, praise God. See, destiny helpers are supposed to help build, praise God. They're not supposed to be uh, ones that come in, praise God, and just, um, you know, do do your work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Praise God. Hallelujah. You have work to do in the kingdom. Praise God. Do you want them to truly get credit for the work you're supposed to be doing? Because that's credit to them. They accomplish it. That's credit to them. Praise God. Hallelujah. So let's be mindful of these things. When God gives us something to do, make sure that we are doing what we're called to do and whatever the destiny helper is supposed to do, make sure that they are doing exactly what they're to do. Praise God. And believe me, they have a relationship with God. They're going to do their part. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you right now, when it's like that, it's a well-ran engine. Oil, y'all. Hallelujah. By God, it's a well-ran engine. The only reason why the engine may stop that engine may stall, praise God. Something's out of order. A belt loose, hallelujah. You understand? And I'm talking about a vehicle. A belt loose, praise God, hallelujah. Then put in the oil in it, praise God, hallelujah. I'm telling you, you need a radiator, a radiator fluid, praise God. If there's fluid radiator, I think it is, praise God, hallelujah. But you know, there's some things lacking in the engine and, and it starts to stall. So we need to make sure that the engine is a fully a functional. That it has what it needs in order to function, praise God. I just pray that you believe in and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Be blessed. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. with our last day of this seven-day fast, praise God, where we are settling in God's rest. Hallelujah. Get ready, y'all, in Jesus' name. Amen.